Hey guys, what's up? This is Caliganus Rain here for another video. A bit of a different video aside from my gaming commentaries and gameplays. This is going to be uh, another entomology related video, or I guess arachnology for this one. This is going to be a Kershi video on the Vejovis spinigerus scorpion, otherwise known as the Hoffmanius spinigerus scorpion, mainly because I believe it went it underwent a genus change uh, fairly recently. I'm not quite sure when, but Basically, the, the the primary name change for the scorpion, but it's not a big deal. Most people in the hobby know it as the Vejovis spinigerus. It has a lot of common names, um, primarily the devil striped tail scorpion, you know, for the stripes on its tail near its telson. Um, but for the most part, I mean, it has a lot of different nicknames: the, the Arizona desert striped tail, the desert, the, just the striped tail scorpion in general. So. Uh, as I already said, they do, uh, they are mainly found uh, native to Arizona and parts of New Mexico. So, obviously, they're going to be kept in a desert, you know, dry ish environment. Um, so, this setup here I have for this guy that I've had uh, for a while is mainly just dry cocoa fiber. Um, you can mix some sand in there, maybe some pebbles. But for the most part, you want to keep it fairly dry. You know, as I said, they hail from a desert environment, so they're, they're used to that. And uh, please excuse the kind of poor-ish quality, you know, I don't have the um, really great camera like I used to. <clears throat> I'm just using my phone camera for this. But basically I just wanted to show you the scorpion. It's about, it's, an, it's at this point it's an adult. Um, it's around two and a half inches. Maybe a little bit less, but <clears throat> for the most part as adults these get to be around two, two and a half inches. So luckily they're not that big, which means, you know, you can keep them in uh, fairly small uh, tanks or... <clears throat> whatever you're using, you know, uh, scorplings can be kept in, you know, small daily cups, and of course, um, when they're young, you want to give them a vertical piece of, you know, draft wood or, you know, like a small piece of bark so they can molt on, you know, because scorpions need to molt in a vertical position in order to get, you know, full molting, you know, capabilities. It's optimal for them to do that. So, well, that's when they're younger. When you get, when they're uh, like what I've what I have here, I took off the um, piece of cork box so you could see the scorpion itself. But um, basically, yeah, just a, a solid piece of bark is, is good enough for that for them to bolt on and to burrow under. Uh, I haven't seen too much bur burrowing from this species. Not like you know some other desert species like the uh, Hedrus arizonensis, which I've done a care sheet on before. But I believe they do burrow, just not as much. Um, I guess they prefer to just you know chill under <laughs> under their rocks or whatever so as I said you can put on you can put a bunch of different stuff in there but of course because they have a smaller environment you don't really need to put too much stuff in there because they are a small scorpion in general uh, as far as diet goes you can pretty much feed them you know small but what I feed them is small crickets or you could probably feed them small roaches if you're breeding roaches at the time so that'd be uh, good for their diet uh, you know they are scorpions, so they eat smaller invertebrates, including other scorpions. Um, but you shouldn't be feeding other scorpions to this guy. <laughs> and these are fairly small, so it would have to be a very, very small scorpion anyway. So, um, as far as temperament goes, I've had this one for about maybe two years now, and from what I understand, I've also had another one before, and um, they're, they're for the most part pretty mild, you know, they're not too aggressive. <clears throat> but they can be kind of skittish sometimes, like I'm showing here. You know, they like to just kind of keep their cool and be under their rocks or bark or whatever. Uh, for temp a temperature and humidity, you know, it is a, like I said, a desert environment. So you want to keep the temperature around, you know, 65 to 85 in the room. And humidity can be about, you know, around 50 to 65%. Not too much humidity. You don't need that much extra humidity. You, you might want to mist the uh, sides of the walls maybe every week or so, you know. But, you know, they get most of their water from their prey, so it's not a huge deal when you're talking about that. So, I mean, that's that's pretty much all you really need to know for this species. You know, the venom, of course, is it's not considered to be hugely dangerous to humans. Uh, you know, it's, it's about, oh, I don't know, I'd say like on a 1 to 5 scale, maybe like a 2. You know, probably similar to a wasp's uh, sting. And here I just put the uh, cork bark back so you can see it has like an inner inner tubing so it can just go in there. I guess not inner tubing, but it's, it's hollow. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, 
Enjoy this species as much as you can. There's a lot of them out there. Bye.